Hello, and thank you for joining us for another episode of African Clawed Frogs for Beginners. Today, we will discuss the anatomy of the African Clawed Frog in addition to common health issues. These adorable little aquatic predators were built to eat and multiply. They come in many different shades and sizes. The skin of the African Clawed Frog is soft to the touch. There are a series of stitch-like bumps along their bodies. Those bumps are very sensitive to any changes in movement in the water. This alerts them in knowing if there is something in the water with them. Why do they need these sensors? Well, because their eyesight is not very good. Although they are almost blind, they use their eyes when they're eating. The eyes help push the food down into their throat. African clawed frogs also have no tongues or teeth, preventing them from chewing their food. They have three claws on their feet, and that is what they use to break their food up into smaller pieces, since they can't really bite. Even though they do not have teeth, they have a very strong jaw to maintain a grip on the food they catch in their mouths. Although African clawed frogs do live longer in captivity, it is important to understand how the cleanliness of their water affects their health. When the water has a large amount of waste, they can become lethargic and come up to the surface and stay there. Even though your frogs may eat all of their food, their waste can also contribute to the water pollution. If the water is overly polluted, this can cause an enlargement of their organs that can prevent them from eating or releasing waste. If the water is left unclean and untreated, the frog can succumb to this illness and pass away. Polluted water can also assist in the thriving of microscopic organisms that are hazardous to your frog. Although we as hobbyists tend to add bacteria to the tank, this is known as beneficial bacteria. This bacteria eats up the bad bacteria. If there are not enough beneficial bacteria in the tank, then the bad bacteria will grow and thrive and end up inside your frog, wreaking havoc in their bodies. To keep your frogs healthy, it is important to monitor them often. Know their habits, monitor their water, remove uneaten food, and make sure the pH is between 7.0 and 7.8 because pH matters as well. When the pH is off balance, you will notice strange things such as lethargy, hanging at the surface often, and even eye bulge. Another sign that there is an issue is disheveled shedding. Usually, a healthy frog removes its own skin in one fell swoop and eats it. When a frog is sick, you will see patchy shedding and no self-removal or ingestion of the shedding skin. In most cases, cleaning and maintaining the water will bring your frog's health back up to par. Although cleaning and changing the water may not clear a serious illness, it will make your frog comfortable and less stressed while dealing with the illness. While we are on the topic of serious illness, let us discuss the two types of bloat illness that affect African clawed frogs. Bloat is also known as dropsy. When you touch your frog and it has lost its squishiness, meaning your frog's belly feels hard to the touch, that is known as hard bloat in the hobbyist community. This is the more serious of the two kinds of bloat and it occurs due to a bacterial infection. This kind of bloat requires veterinary care and chemical treatment. When a large area of your frog is swollen and rippling when it is swimming, this may be a case of soft bloat. Soft bloat is manageable and something clawed frogs can live with for quite some time. There are many online remedies in addition to obtaining veterinary advice, which is much more recommended on how to manage your frog soft bloat. In this episode, we have covered a lot of things from parts of your frog's anatomy 
the importance of water maintenance to signs of illness as well as bloat. Tending to African clawed frogs is a great hobby and if you are a frog lover, they are so much fun to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. To view fun pictures of our frogs and dogs, the link to our Instagram is in the description. We also have a TikTok channel for fun froggy shorts. Thank you for watching and have a frogtastic day.